what yeah. what sort of things have you seen that new coaches, developing coaches, like you say, the level one, maybe level two coaches, uh, uh, struggle struggle with? Uh, the, the, I think there is one big problem with the coach education is uh, uh, is uh, disconnected of the context. So that means the 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 candidates receive a lot of information the, 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 that is theoretically theoretical and uh, disconnected from the the court from the field. So that's the biggest the biggest problem in my opinion, and um, so they don't they don't have the tools to apply that information. You know, they receive the information is useful in general, but not connected with the the context they they work. So that's the big problem of the coaching education nowadays is to. Uh, too abstract, did he, uh, I would say. Too abstract. That's the biggest problem. And uh, sometimes the sessions, those courses, are uh, uh, theoretical. So some uh, some one lecture speaks and they listen, they participate, of course, but is not applied knowledge. So in my opinion, this is the 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 biggest problem in coaching education nowadays. So let me ask you this, in terms of, of what gets done in Portugal, because this because I've seen it in the US and I've seen it in England, um, one of the problems that I see is that the reality of coaching, it's not ideal, but this is the way it works, is a lot of people get into coaching as head coaches right away because they need to coach their, their child's you know under 12 team or the club in the area is desperate for coaches and they need to take somebody to take the U16s or whatever the case may be. So instead of someone coming in and doing an apprenticeship, being an assistant coach, which is the way, obviously, ideally, we'd like to see it happen, a lot of people come in as a head coach on some level and then and then they go into these coach education programs, these certifications, which don't actually teach them the head coach stuff. They teach them okay, you can do this drill and you can do, you know, these these systems of offense or defense, but they don't actually show them, like you say, the context. They don't work at the context level and, and talk about, well, okay, this, you need to think about your priority here and, okay, if your priority is this, then you need to structure your, your training this way or your lineup this way or whatever. It just it seems upside down. Exactly. Um, okay. So it's, it's, you see a similar thing. I, I, I'm also involved in teacher education. In my school now, I'm, um, I, I receive uh, in this moment three students of uh, university that are learning to, to teach. Uh, so they run my classes, but I'm in every class uh, talking with them uh, in the in uh, I say I say that in real time, so they are doing and I I'm I'm next next to them, uh, giving feedback, giving if one is running the class, I'm giving feedback to the other two. So they they are learning during the intervention, and it seems. Uh, receiving immediate feedback about they, what they are doing, feeling situations. So that's uh, um, a part that uh, no exists in coaching education. Because if you receive the, 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 the information, you uh, apply it only after the course or after the session. Nobody is near you to uh, to be uh, your your coach, <laughs> your coach, coach of the coach. So uh, there there are a lot of things that are still missing in the coaching education, and I I think that uh, tutoring tutoring is that okay in English? Tutoring, oh, no? tutoring, tutoring, tutoring will be uh, an important uh, 
way of uh, helping the, the coaches to become better coaches.